Hey guys, uh, just wanted to show a, another modification that I've done. Um, been watching a lot of people on YouTube, uh, or just in the internet in general, uh, doing a modification with this guy. Um, this is a Sega Genesis Classic Games Console USB hub. It's a powered USB hub that came as a promotional uh, part of a Loot Crate type style box. I think it was a Geek Box. That it came with, a nerd, a nerd block that it came with. And um, yeah, it came with one of these. But what I've seen a lot of people doing, and I wanted to try it out myself, was I wanted to. Um, people have been putting Raspberry Pis in them so that way they have their own little version of RetroPie and Emulation Station on there. So I decided to give it a shot, uh, crack it open, put a Raspberry Pi inside of there, um, put it back together, and see what I did. Um, yeah, it was, it, was, it was a fairly easy process. I think getting the software and the ROMs and getting it to where I wanted it to be took more of a process than the actual um, installation of, of it itself and cutting the slots for it, as you can see there, um, for it and the cables inside. Yeah, the software took a lot longer on there. Um, but enough of me rambling on here. Let me, let me go ahead and set it up for you guys here. So all it just uses is a just an HDMI to connect it. So I'll get that there. Um, use this micro USB cable to power it. And before that, actually I've learned this the hard way. Um, I'm in the process of getting Sega Genesis, USB Sega Genesis controller shipped to me. So far I've been using just a Xbox 360 wired controller. So, um, it uses, yeah, I mean, it, it uses just the same power output as the NES Mini. So I plug that on there for you. And go ahead and it powers on. So I'll bring it up to the TV here and let it do its thing. Nice little Sega boot up logo that I made for it as well. And then, right there, nice little custom background music that I did for it, um, based off of the Sonic Mania uh, teaser trailer theme, Nitro Fun. Uh, I was very inspired by it, very, like just wanted to give it as an homage for my Retro Pie. Um, as of right now, I put on there Sega Genesis and Sega 32X. Um, I might put Sega CD on there as well. I know the RetroPie and Emulation Station could do a lot more things. Uh, 2600, um, NES, Super Nintendo, a whole slew of consoles, PlayStation, Arcade, MAME, everything. Um, it could do everything. But I just wanted the device itself to be a specific Genesis, um, Genesis device. Um, and just so that way I can play a library of Genesis games on here as well. I mean, I have my my actual Sega Genesis here and with my Power Base Mini and my Master uh, Master System EverDrive so I can play those games but for like my little Sega Genesis that I wanted to stream uh, if I want to do some streams on YouTube I can uh, I can do some live streams on there I can do some live streams on Twitch and uh, how this came about actually is because of Twitch um, I was actually trying to stream with that guy um, a two-player Power Rangers game on the Sega Genesis funny enough and it took us an hour to beat and and to do the entire stream but it took me four to five hours which is ridiculous to connect two bluetooth controllers because i had to go into the actual emulator edit files and edit the actual um the the the, the settings of it itself and that was it was just way too ridiculous uh, even in my stream i started commenting on it it was it was just it was just a really bad experience so Right after the stream, I, I looked into investing into that. <laughs> so it works out really well. Um, and I can plug that right into my capture card and it works out on there. So, but yeah, I mean, it boots up. Let me see if I can get a... I'll just throw a Genesis game on here really quick. So, I just threw some games on here. Uh, not a lot. I don't have the entire library of Genesis games on here, but things I, I know that I'm going to play in the future, so... Of things on the Immortal Kombat, Outrun. I'm looking for. Let me play some Sonic. 
Uh, let's do some Sonic. So it just asks me to boot. I can launch it. It asks me for some settings as well. I have it to where I can customize settings. So. Get some Sonic and three, uh, Sonic and Knuckles actually, not Sonic three and Knuckles. Uh, I can get some Sonic, Sonic and Knuckles action going on here. Yeah. Pardon the crudeness of me playing this because I'm also playing this one-handed. So. I mean, it's not like you need various buttons to play a Sonic game, but still, you need one hand for both D-pad and stuff. Yeah, I mean, it works quite well. It has, it's nice because the emulator, it's it's running off of its own uh, custom build of RetroArch, and so it has, uh, it has the, it has the filters in there and everything as well, so it runs quite well. And if I just want to leave it itself, I just back and select, and I'm back at the menu, and I can actually scroll over one to the right, and there's all my Sega 32X games as well. Uh, I can throw Doom right there. We're gonna launch it. I'm getting a lot of glare on it. The glare must be from my light. Um, yeah, it hurt me plenty. There we go. It's Doom, but it's the worst, to my opinion, one of the worst, not, not the worst port of Doom, but man, is the music really bad. So, and pardon me once again, because I'm also playing this with one hand, so I can't even open set door. Oh, I found the shooting button. Yeah, it works quite well, so. And I'm going back on there. And like I said, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll, I'll put Sega CD on here in the future, so. And that exits back on there. I'll exit back completely. So uh, yeah, it works. It works really well. No, so, there's that. Like I said, I might, I might do Sega CD in the future. Um, uh, maybe some Master System in case if I don't want to turn that guy on as well. We do that. Uh, and then just for comparison, I wanted to throw on there because the other reason why I did this was uh, to get this guy. Um, yeah, was the NES. So. I thought it would be really cool to have not directly its competitor, as back then it was pretty much the Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo, but yeah, it'd be cool to have side by side. Hey, I can actually get it out of the bag. There we go. And just for size comparison, there's the NES with the Genesis. So, they look quite well together. I think I'll put them together. Um, it'll be somewhere on this wall of consoles if I can find space for them. But yeah, that, that worked out quite well. I think I'm going to do another project. Not sure yet. I might do something with this Atari I just picked up over here. Might add a port to uh, play original 2600 games because I don't have... I mean, I have all the hookups for my original 2600. Um... But it's just a pain to hook up uh, old forks. I mean, they're non-existent. You can't hook up old forks to a a, an, a brand new style TV with with the newer ports. I mean, it's physically impossible. I mean, unless you get so many conversions and there's so much so much noise in there and and everything, and it's just too much static and whatnot. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, probably put another modification video on here next. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about the Sega Genesis. Uh, any comments on there? Any things that you guys, any tips that you'd like to give me on a, on, on like a build or anything like that? Or maybe uh, maybe you guys want to see another, a different build, um, something else modded. Um, yeah, maybe I'll make something different. All right, thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care.